gable elevation of 39, so this property here, there are windows, uh, but they're all obscurely glazed and they do not serve natural rooms. Similarly, windows on the elevation of the new property, so it's, it's this one here, uh, just as a moment to see that elevation. All of those windows on that elevation, that basic gate with the number 39 marks on those, are uh, obscurely glazed. They don't serve comfortable, wind, uh, comfortable rooms. They either relate to one suite bathroom, the main family bathroom, or the comfortable utility room. So the new dwelling stands forward of 39. I just go back to that on the plan. So this distance here, this is the front elevation of number 39 mark in close. The new dwelling would stand forward of that of that dwelling that went by property dwelling site to the back three meters. And it's two story at that point. However, an assessment of blind comfortable rooms at the front elevation of 39 marks and close indicate that there would not be a loss of outlook or light to these rooms. The rear elevation is the first floor, and as I said, I'll be aligned with that at 39 marks and close. The design of materials to be used the proposals are considered to record with policy HS4 on new residential development that are recommended for approval and there's no petition. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly neighbours are all 
And and the fact that you have a obscurely glazed winding window um, allows you to walk around your property in uh, whatever state you're in. But on the other hand, so it gives you quite a lot of light. So that's your hallway. So I don't want to detain you anymore on the long evening, but I'll ask you to consider being careful when you believe that this is an appropriate development for this particular site in terms of the scenario.
So whilst it fails on elevation, it passes on on plan. Um, but it doesn't need to fail on the road. Really. Thank you, Chair. And what's that kind of help? The extension will be set back some 3.3 metres from the front elevation of the main line 
and will the future alone which line. This will ensure that the extension appears subordinate to the host dwelling and accords with the requirements of policy HS11 and supplementary planning guidance note 11 on house extensions. The extensions would not result in any terracing effect or impact on the amenities of neighbouring properties by virtue of loss of privacy or overshadowing. There are no habitable room windows on side elevation of the adjacent property facing the application site uh, for those members who were present from the, uh, from the site of this on Monday. Um, this is the sole object for here. There are windows on this elevation. They're all obscured in days um, and, and none of them are habitable rooms. They're like the back. I think one with the landing, one with the utility room, and the rest are all back rooms. Um, the there's a, an existing garage structure, so that you can see it here on this plan. It's like a semi-detached garage, uh, so they share a boundary wall, uh, a party wall. The existing garage structure is, is attached to the neighbouring garage, and the proposals seek to incorporate the garage into the new extension. Concerns have been raised that the work that is allowed would have structural implications on the adjoining garage. However, the stability of the site and buildings are the responsibility of the applicant or the developer, and any building work which involves work to an existing wall shared with another property, including buildings on the boundary with neighbouring properties or excavating near a neighbouring building, are subject to the provisions of the Party Wall Act, which is a civil matter, not a planning issue, to be taken up by both parties. The proposals are considered to be in accordance with policies relating to house extensions and other like members of approval, and with no additional clarification, and the applications presented to members of the agents are SDA and we receive this as an objection. I'm the young No councillor, no. Sorry, sorry. No councillor. You know, because, because we have no situation, we're not able to speak on that. Um, there's, there's no more councillor. Okay, can I open this up to Cindy again? Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I'm, just like I said, I'm, um, I suppose it was instructed to a certain extent. What this chief could be said to exist in this application is not a fine matter. Um, therefore, I don't see that we as a motion can do anything but um, accept this plan of attention and that reason we don't know the source of that use of that use. Do you want to let me know how to speak on this? Do you want to accept that as an approved plan? It's an SDA one, so it's an SDA one, so they can't say anything. Please, please, Road. 
a terrace of six on one side, that's here, and a terrace of three on the other, adjacent to the application site. Escher Road is a known through road uh, ending adjacent to the Rock Ferry Bypass. There are no parking restrictions in Escher Road. Whilst the proposed development is likely to result in a small increase in demand for on street parking, given the small number of units proposed and the small number of properties existing in Escher Road, there is sufficient capacity within the immediate vicinity to accommodate this demand. Consequently, if the proposed mm -hmm. development Consequently, the proposed development would not materially harm the living conditions of neighbourhood residents, with particular reference to the availability for off street parking. The site is also located within easy walking distance of the main bus routes and bus, and bus stops and other amenities. The new dwellings have been designed to maximise privacy for both future occupants and existing residents and to minimise impacts in terms of overlooking. The pattern of development follows that of existing properties. Road and the development will be built on, on the same footprint of an earlier development that has now been demolished. Each dwelling will also have a rear yard space within which bin storage is provided. Proposals are considered to be in keeping with the criteria for the residential development as set out in policy 864 of the Unitary Development Plan and the principles of the National Plan Policy Framework. The application is recommended for approval for the paper.